Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hemet, and I want to talk to you today about how to know God's will for your life. I want to read a, a short passage of scripture. It says, do not fret because of evildoers and be not envious toward wrongdoers, for they will wither quickly like the grass and fade like the green herb. So the first thing here is don't worry. You, I don't know what your situation is, but all of us have had times where we were worried or anxious about our situation or concerned about what others were up to. Sometimes we see others doing wrong things, but they seem to be prospering more than we are. And it's easy for us to get distracted. I'm gonna tell you what our problem is. We just took our eyes off of God and put our eyes on other people. Not a good idea. Keep your eyes on Jesus and then into the word of God and you won't have to worry about what everybody else up to. Just ask the question, am I doing what I believe God wants me to do? You were wanting to know, right? The will of God. Well, the will of God means if you do what God wants you to do, he'll show you what to do. <laughs> That's what the will of God works out to be. Uh, it says in verse three, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Trust in the Lord and do good. Um, it is so easy for us because of what other people want to tell us to do, advise us to do, to get distracted from trusting God with simple faith. And it's so easy for us to think that everything depends on what we come up with, our little plans, our schemes, when the truth is we just need to listen to God and obey him. It says, <laughs> do good. You know, when you do good things, you don't always get a attaboy or a thank you or a reward for it at that time. But be sure of this, God's watching the whole time. And when you live a life of sincerity and integrity and goodness toward other people, God's keeping account a record of it. Someday you're going to be surprised to find out he didn't forget one good thing you ever did and he'll reward you for it. So we're talking about how do you know what the will of God is? Well, one thing is trust God. Another one is do the right thing, do godly things. And you'll begin to experience the will of God as you do it. I actually think most of us know more what we should do and we don't do it. If you want to know more of the will of God, obey him and he'll shock you by showing you more and more and more every day. <laughs> and then it says, do good, dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. He says, just live. You know, when you see things that are in front of you to do, do it. You see a trash on the ground, pick it up, put it in the trash can. You see somebody that's struggling to get off, get across the street, stop what you're doing, go over and offer to give them a hand. Somebody's trying to get something heavy out of their car, go help and lift it out of their car. Whatever it is, you see it in front of you. The will of God is go do it. And when you do it, people will become your friends and they'll thank you. Maybe that's not why you're doing it, but they will anyway. And God will remember and guide you and provide for you. He says, delight yourself in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in, in him and he will do it. I want to tell you the most exciting experience in life is to realize the will of God is to let him do what we can't do in our own strength and limited ability. Just trust the Lord and to guide you. And when you see something that's in front of you to do, it's a good thing, do it. And when you do it, you just did the will of God. You might not have thought of it that way, but that's what it is. Anyway, God bless you. I certainly hope you have a wonderful day today. And look for something good to do. It'll make you feel better. God bless you.